Hello, my name is Quang and I'm originally from Vietnam and I'm currently a PhD student here at uh, Université Paris Cité. And I started my journey here in 2024 when I pursued uh, my M2 in phonetics and phonology. It's actually part of the Paris Graduate School of Linguistics. So I actually completed another master's program uh, in linguistics as well uh, in Brussels a few years ago. Uh, but this master program is actually much more specialized. So I decided to take another master program to focus solely on phonetics and phonology. And it's actually a rare program in Europe because you can really choose to work on a specific field that you are interested in. And another reason, uh, I got a scholarship, the SmartSub scholarship, and I was also able to secure uh, a slot uh, in a cruise accommodation. So that really made the transition into a big city like Paris much smoother in general. I think that the master's program actually gave me a very solid foundation for the PhD. In the courses, we were given um, the opportunity to work with a lot of theory. But what is more important is that uh, at the same time, we can we have a lot of hands-on experience with research. We learned how to design experiments, how to work with stimuli and, and participants and analyze data, of course. And I think that those skills are essential for me to continue my PhD here. It's really hard to choose one single lasting memory because I think here everything is kind of memorable in its own way. Here I feel like I find my own people. It's really rare actually to find a community that is full of people who are so passionate about different nuances of language. And also something that will stay with me is the experience of working with participants for my experiments. I had the opportunity to talk to them, of course to record them, but what is more important is to talk to them, to have conversations, to listen to their own stories about languages. And that is what constantly reminds me why my research matters. For me, being part of a graduate school means uh, being trained to become an independent researcher. Because here as a PhD student, it's much more than just absorbing knowledge, but it's about being trained to think in a specific way. So for me, it's really about learning how to challenge assumptions, how to build an, an experiment to answer your own research questions in a way to contribute to the field. So in, an, in other words, it's basically learning to, to stand on your own two feet with the confidence to pursue your own research questions.